Today I have a XP slash camel lobby glitch. In this lobby, you're going to be able to unlock all your camels extremely easily and get tons of XP. This is such a broken glitch, super easy to do. Yes, I said easy. You can do it with your eyes closed. Quite literally, just close your eyes and you can do it. It's that easy. So definitely let's go ahead and get right into this crazy glitch that will help you get tons of camels and tons of XP. And this still works right now. But before we get into this insane glitch, I do want to mention today's spot. Sponsor. Today's sponsor is BrownMagician.com. Go ahead, check them out for Call of Duty services. You can get Dark Ether instantly and a ton of other things. Use the code on the screen for 5% off. But anyways, that's it. And let's move on to this crazy glitch. Now, I have posted this before, but I'm posting it again because I know a lot of you guys don't know this exists and think it's patched. Now, let me go ahead and start this off. Now, the main thing that you need to keep in mind with this glitch, there is a very important step. If you don't do this, nothing will stick. You need somebody else on PC if you do not do this with somebody on PC doesn't matter who it is either you or your friend and if you do not do this nothing will stick in the video I do it with another console player and on my console just do every step that I do but the main thing is make sure that one person is on PC I said that multiple times I really want you guys to understand that want to label one person player one then another person player two the reason why is because that'll just make this glitch a whole lot easier to understand and do now to get the most amount of XP, all you want to do is make sure that you activate those XP tokens before you start this glitch. So player 1 needs to do this. He needs to be in the multiplayer main menu, then he wants to go to versus bots, then pull up the settings. Now player 2 needs to go into the multiplayer main menu, then he needs to invite player 1 to his lobby. Now, what player 1 is going to get is an invite. You want player 1 to view the invite, then go into player details and select player details. At this point, player 2 is going to be in the multiplayer menu and you want him to send player 1 another invite. So go right ahead and have player 2 do that. Now, once player 1 gets that second invite, you want player 1 to again view the invite, go down to view player details, and simply be in this. Now thirdly, you want to do the same thing. You want player 2 to invite player 1 to their lobby. So go ahead and have him do that. And then when player 1 gets that invite on the top right, you want him to view it. And this time you want him to accept the invite. If you have done everything right, then player 1 will still have the versus bots on his screen when he is joining. And once player 1 joins player 2, you want player 1 to open up the settings yet again. Then player 2 needs to back out and bring a party. Now player 1 will have his screen go back to just having versus bots. At this point, player 1 wants to again pull up the settings. Then player 2 wants to go into zombies. Now when you're in zombies, again player 1 is going to have those settings get pushed off the screen. Now at this point you want player 1 to pull the settings yet again. Then player 2 needs to go into private match outbreak. Once player 2 goes into private match outbreak, you then want player 2 to leave alone. When the timer starts to count down from 30 seconds. That's very important, do not leave too early. So just get ready to leave alone and as soon as it says count down from 30 seconds, simply leave alone. Then as soon as player 2 leaves alone, you want him to join back to player 1. Now when player 1 sees player 2 has left the game, you want player 1 to back out of the settings, then go into change map, and then player 1 needs to select Golova. At this point, player 1 needs to wait until player 2 joins back. That's very important, if you do not wait until he joins back, then it's going to kick you both out of the game. Now once player 2 joins back, you then want player 1 to select team deathmatch. At this point, player 1 needs to back out of this, then player 1 needs to go to manage party and leave the party just like so. Now you just want to load up into the game. Now if you get kicked while you're loading up into the game, that just means that you selected the game mode too early and you want to try again and make sure you select that game mode when player 2 joins back. But once you are in the game, you guys want to basically just kill yourselves. You want to have both players kill themselves until they spawn in the middle of Golova. Once you two are in the middle of Golova, you then want to simply just kill each other and keep on killing each other until one player gets a sentry gun or a field mic. And basically all you're going to be doing with that sentry gun or field mic is you're going to be placing it where the other player spawns so it cuts off one spawn 
and if you do this then the player will only spawn in one spawn when you kill him and that is it for this glitch you can kill each other repeatedly get those headshots get the xp with this glitch you're gonna be max rank in no time i went up many many levels in this glitch and this works after all patches yes it works right now do it asap use this get your camos so if it needs to be behind cover have him stand behind cover and kill him if it needs to be a long shot kill simply stand your distance kill him and just do this and get those kills and get those camos and get that xp but that's it for this video it was a quick video on this glitch that still works that is super useful but that's it please like comment and subscribe to become part of the silent squad but that's it see you guys later peace out